This is a medium difficulty question. I'll classify the question as a GMAT 650 level problem solving question. From geometry and it also includes rates, speed distance time is another concept tested. The question actually has three parts to it. One is the concept of geometry, some area, diagonal, that kind of stuff. Second one, basic understanding about the relation between speed, distance and time. And lastly, which is equally important, is your ability to spot and convert from one unit of measurement to another unit of measurement. So it's like a loaded question with three small components. Nothing is difficult, but you need to be meticulous. You need to ensure that you dot all the I's, you cross all the T's to get a mark in this question, right? So these are the questions which actually not just test your concept, you're also testing your perseverance and how meticulous you are. Let's get started with the question. The area of a square field is 24,200 square meters, right? So at some level, the measure of length for us is in meters for this. How long will a lady take to cross the field diagonally at the rate of 6.6 .6 kilometers per hour? So her speed is given to us in terms of kilometers per hour. We're going to be getting initially at least the length of the diagonal in terms of meters. And let's look at the answer options. It's given in terms of minutes, 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 seconds, minutes and hours. So at some level, there is also a conversion of units of time from hours to minutes probably. If answer option B is not the answer, we need to do the conversion, right? Let's take a look at this. Let's start one at a time. We need to start by finding out the distance that this lady is walking, right? We know the speed, we know the distance, we'll be able to compute the time. Conversion of Conversions of unit, we can do it later on. Let's get started here. The distance that she is walking is a diagonal of the square. I'm going to assign one variable. Let the length of the square, side of the square be equal to S yes units. Area is given to be equal to 24,200. Step one, I'm going to compute the diagonal as I mentioned. So area is equal to S yes square, which is equal to 24,200. Let's compute S. Yes. From there, let's compute root 2S. Yes. That will give us the distance that she is walking. This 24,200 can take the square, which is a painful one. The moment I see at 24,200, what comes to my mind is, hey, this is probably a 2 times 12,100. This is a perfect square. So S square is equal to 2 times 12,100. 121 is the square of 11. 12,100 therefore is the square of 110. So the A side of the square is going to be square root of this value. We'll keep this root 2 as root 2. Don't bother about it because at the end of the day, we're going to multiply it with one more root 2. This times square root of 12,100 is a 110. So now we know the side of the square. From this, we'll compute the distance that this lady is walking, which is the diagonal of the square, which is equal to root 2 times s. Yes. We know s yes is the root 2 times 110. So this is root 2 times root 2 times 110. Sorry, 110 is what this should be. Root 2 times root 2 is a 2. 2 times 110 is equal to 220. So step 1, we have found out the length that this lady is walking. She is walking a distance of 220 meters. From the area of the square, we computed the square of side of the square. From there, we have computed the diagonal of the square. The only crux of this entire discussion till now is basically, did you spot this 24,200 as a 2 times 12,100, right? If you did that, the calculation is really as smooth as what you have done. Now that we got the distance that she is walking, let's compute the time. How do you compute time? Time is equal to distance divided by speed. What's the distance she is walking? She is walking a distance of 220 meters, right? This is in meters. What is the speed at which she is walking? She is walking at a speed of 6.6 .6 kilometers per hour. So obviously we can't work directly. We need to make a conversion of units. I'm going to convert 6.6 .6 kilometers per hour into some so many meters per minute because I found four of the answer options having a minute in it. So let's go with that and see whether it makes sense, right? So 6.6 .6 kilometers per hour. I'm going to do this conversion right now. This is 6.6 .6 times 1000 meters. So many kilometers converted into meters. So the numerator is done. Divided by each hour is equal to 60 minutes. So this divided by 60 will give us this in terms of meters per minute. Cancel the zero with the zero. So what we have is 6.6 .6 times 100, which is equal to 660 by 6, 110 meters per minute is the speed. Distance is to 220 meters. Speed, we have converted it as 110 meters per minute. So 220 divided by 110 will give us a number of minutes taken. So 220 by 110 is equal to 2 minutes. 
I think I really saw an answer option with two minutes in it. We'll just go and check it out. Here is the answer option that we have. Two minutes choice C is the correct answer to this question, right? Go back to the slide where we did the conversions of units, right? We started by saying that the time taken is distance travel divided by speed. We didn't do any conversion of unit. We just plugged in the values, writing the unit by the side. 220 meters divided by 6.6 .6 kilometers per hour. Then we converted the 6.6 .6 kilometers per hour into so many meters per minute. 6.6 .6 kilometers became 6,600 meters. One hour became 60 minutes. So it's 6,600 upon 60 meters per minute, which is 110 meters per minute. Speed in meters per minute, distance in terms of number of meters, we have the time taken to be equal to two minutes. Choice C is the correct answer to this question. So three parts as I mentioned. One, basics about area of a square, finding out the diagonal of the square. And within that, a way to spot a perfect square, right? A 24,200 is two times 12,100. Makes that calculation easy. From there, we moved on to understanding some basics about speed, distance, time. Time is equal to distance by speed. Lastly, converting units and finding out the answer. Right? Best wishes for your GMAT preparation.